special needs or medical conditions. Elderly persons or parents with small children can also ask about the telephone. They encourage you to get in there to get out of the question. There are a lot of employees. Please contact your flight attendant. She can require assistance with any questions about this policy and some cooperation. Should they offer to take care of just a couple of minutes? Welcome aboard. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the video. Today I decided to do a quick review of my business class trip from Barcelona, Spain to Miami, USA. I will try to make this video quick and informative and get down to the basics of the services provided. This is not the first time I've traveled with American Airlines business class. I'll try and compare and contrast to previous services provided by them. Now I'm in flagship business and they start off by giving you this menu so you can pre-select what options you want. For today's dinner, I decided to go ahead and get myself the tomato and mozzarella stuffed cannoli and for dessert, the red fruit charlotte. You can see the different options that they have for you from vegetarian to non-vegetarian and the dessert selection as well. Now, American usually has a pretty good selection of hard liquor, whiskeys, and ciders. But I usually just stick to good old Coke, preferably Coke Zero. Um, but if you're a drinker, they have champagne and various other beverages for you to pick from. It's a beautiful sunny day in Barcelona today. And you can see that the ramp through is all ready. And uh, it's time to sit back and wait for departure.
So the flight surface has started off by giving you a nice hot, well not hot necessarily, but a lukewarm towel to wipe your hands and get your hands clean. Every American Airlines flight starts off with serving you mixed nuts, which have been warmed, and a beverage of your choice. Now let's look at the flight map and see our journey to America. Using this map, you can always locate exactly where you are, if you're curious, like myself, and see what surrounding cities and countries. The map shows exactly where you're flying over, and once you press a certain button, it will show you the exact flight route you'll be taking. I often pull this up to see how much time I have left and the distance to my destination. It'll show you the exact amount of miles or kilometers that you will be traveling along with the exact, well, the planned places you're supposed to fly over to reach your destination. Total flight time today is supposed to be 9 hours and 42 minutes. This so the very first thing is our starter plate. You have a light snack or starter. Today we have the chili shrimp and a salad accompanied by a warm bread of your choice which is my favorite favorite thing to eat on the airplane. Nothing makes me happier than a warm piece of bread with a little bit of butter melted. This is the main course. I have to admit this has been one of the best things I've eaten on an American Airlines flight so far. Now I tried my very best to get the most appetizing video, but uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. But like, look at that cheese. Hmm, my mouth is watering again. Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the food shots and cut to the dessert. Now for dessert, this is my first time actually getting dessert on the plane. I'm usually super full by now. But uh, it seems to be a sponge cake with whipped cream and assortment of berries. Now the bottom part, you may or may not be able to see, but it's kind of a flan. I've never had this before, but <laughs> it was magnificent. So during the middle of the flight, you have an option to get up and um, get like an assortment of snacks. So I went up and got myself a cold meat sandwich, some fruit, and um, this like cheese mushroom quinoa thing. 
it was pretty good. I'm um, sorry for the shaking. We had pretty bad turbulence from almost takeoff to landing. This flight, unfortunately, I could not sleep in because the plane would not stop shaking. Now on every plane, well, in business class, on every trip, they give you one of these uh, kits, travel kits, to you know make your experience on the plane more enjoyable. Um, this all comes with like an assortment of little goodies for you to use. Uh, here I laid them all out for you. You will get like a little packet of tissues, an eye mask so you can sleep, some lotion, lip balm, a pen for custom forms, your toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, a pair of socks because I get cold on airplanes so I assume everybody else would as well. This was my breakfast or you can say my light meal before we arrived. I chose the meat pies. One was spinach and mushroom, and the other one was a chicken one. And this here is my favorite dessert in the history of desserts. This is salted caramel and chocolate. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> where can I get this in America? I paired it up with the ginger ale. I got these British chips that I'm actually pretty keen on because they were awesome. A little bit of fruit, you know, health. So yeah, breakfast is lit. Unfortunately, I did not like these pies at all. They looked good. Don't get me wrong, they looked delicious, but they were so bland. Now here's a quick look of how my seat looked like as we were preparing for departures. I managed to clean it up a little bit. This is where you control how far you recline and if you want a flat bed. Right here, you may or not see it, there's a little footrest up there and to your right is a little storage area where they usually either leave you the water or the little travel kit. Right here is where your remote control and a charging outlet with two USB ports are located. This is the 777-200, one of my favorite planes. And we finally reached beautiful, sunny Miami. Now, transiting through Miami is always a hassle. Which is why I finally gave up and got global entry. Honestly, my life has been so much easier without having to wait long 
periods of time just trying to clear immigration or TSA. So if you're a frequent traveler, I highly encourage applying for global entry. The service provided on today's trip was outstanding. Um, I was lucky enough to have all senior flight attendants. There have been trips where I've had some, let's say, beginner flight attendants in business or first class. And your flight attendant really does make a difference. She checked up on me often and since I was awake for the entirety of the flight, refilled my beverages and really took care of me. So shout out to you, Cynthia. She was awesome. Now, if you have the money to spare, I really do like American Airlines business class. Um, is it worth the upgrade? Yes, especially on long haul flights. I was able to lie down and my legs of course didn't swell up, so that's always a plus. Thank you for accompanying me on today's trip and I hope to make another video in the future. Take care guys, bye!